when is enough enough? When are people going to realize that giving up more and more of their freedoms is, is not worth it? Being able to not drive wherever you want at any given time. So is it just heavily in relation to cars? Well, I mean, we're being tracked in more ways than possible. People are listening in, and it's, obvi it's obvious. And then the cars, we're not going to be able to go where we want so or we drive wherever we want. So we just out all the electrical and just make it... You just have to buy old cars, but even then, they're just going to outlaw old ones eventually because it's all going to go electric, and then they're going to say, well, if you run any gas or diesel in the street, you're going to get prosecuted. Dude, by the time they do that, we're all going to be dead. What is up guys, just started her up and now I'm going to head to the shop and probably get that taken care of at the front of the truck. And then there's also some other things I want to do today with the lights. And if there is enough time, we'll go get the price on a Silverado Duramax. So I normally would go right, I mean, <laughs> I would normally go left here, but because I'm heading down to the shop, it's not the case today. sell some nice lifted trucks here but I guess they're closed now kind of sucks all right pulling up here do the body shop just gotta turn in well here we are looks like it's all sedans not a single truck guys just listen to some pop 2k and the satellite radio and it sounds pretty good songs that I grew up with and I just loved how there's still rock and guitars and drums involved in pop music, but now today it's completely electronic. Some of it's good, but I, I really do miss what I grew up with, but I think anyone could say that realistically. So I'm here at the bottle shop, sitting here, just went over the front end with some touch-up paint with the guy there. He did it. It's very nice now. And I'll give you guys an update to show you guys what it looks like once we get back. I'm probably going to sit here for a minute to let it dry up a little bit longer, and then we'll head on the road. I just don't want to bug just to... Just to hit it and then get stuck on it, that'd be awful. Well, that's what you usually don't see at a body shop, a brand new car. Then again, I think on the lot, they usually get chipped up and scratched from being moved around, so that's probably what it's here for. keep asking, I keep forgetting to ask about it. I mean, I like historic things and old buildings and stuff. I like reading about it. Made it home here. Let me roll up the window. Hurry up. Gosh, one of the things that people have always said whenever they see this truck is that how fast these windows go down. I guess compared to a car, it's pretty fast. I never took notice of that, but I've gotten that many times, so. Let me pop that hood open. It's a windy one for sure. Let me just get all this set up and ready all the time. Oh well. And then we got the fuse taps right here. Here we go, unboxing or unwrapping the mini fuses. Comes with 15s in here. So take your tap and whatever, whichever way the fuse comes out, you put it in like that and you put the fuse in there. So, so the connection that is going to whatever the, the running lights that I'm running, that's where you want to put your new fuse and then your old fuse will go in the bottom. It's kind of hard to get in, but. So what this will allow me to do is have the running lights on whenever the ignition of the truck is turned off. Alright, we got what we need right here. Let's head to the cell in the wind. Good thing it's actually pretty warm outside, but windy. Oh! So let me show you guys what the grill looks like now. So there we go. It's all painted up on the top. What the problem was is that the top portion of the black was 
well there wasn't enough paint there to begin with he said when he had it facing down it's hard to get it around the curve so they took care of it free free of charge amazing so let me pop the hood here so right now the lights are just based off a switch it doesn't matter if the truck is on or not it will work man it sure is a hot one now so i'm gonna take the cover off man i swear the other day it was freezing and now it's not so that's weird all right so i'm gonna have to figure out which one of these cords also is to the daytime running lights now that i have two one to the fog one to the other you know what fuck this shit it's so fucking hot gosh oh in my pocket all right Oh lord, it's a good thing that, that I don't have a brand new truck because, well, <laughs> too many fuses to deal with. I know they use different models more than just mini fuses. I'm just kidding, I'd still love a brand new one as well, but this one means too much to me. So it is so... Whoa! Oh my gosh, just put in my... pushing my... Oh! There we go. The wind just blew me off, almost blew me off the truck. So I'm rocking the Rough Country shirt right now because I got a Rough Country lift on the Silverado, if you guys didn't know that. So I'm going to try to find fuse number 23, and for your 07 to 13, that is a miscellaneous fuse, and that one should work great. All right, actually, uh, yeah, 43. Basically, you just got to find the fuse on the diagram for the gas essence. If you look between gas and diesel, I mean, it doesn't look as if the fuse are that much different. It looks like some of the numbering is different, but other than that, the amount of fuses seems about the same. So number 43 is the, is the 10 amp fuse right here. I just pulled it. So what I'm going to do is wire in the fuse tap with this fuse into that position. Alright guys, so I got my fuse tap right here. And I just want to make sure that the 10 goes into the bottom facing the right way. Facing the wrong way, you could, one, just short out whatever that else go that goes to. Or if there ever is a time that the fuse is needed because there's too much amperage going through, then you're going to blow something as well. So may not happen at first, but it, it will happen later. So there we go, you wanna just stack them like that, make sure they're both facing down. And you also want to face this the right way. Since the fuses here on this specific spot are facing towards you guys, I'm going to be plugging it in this way. That's how you properly tap. Now all I have to do is that now I got the ignition for the running lights right here i'm just gonna stick this in there and clamp it down and nothing like working on top of a hot engine and a hot sunny day oh my gosh clamp this sucker down mm. give it all your mutt it's pretty solid to me okay so i'm gonna pull the switch right here and let's see if she works with no ignition nope does not work so let me try to turn the truck on let's now, I'm not gonna necessarily going to turn the engine on, but I will turn the ignition on. Hood open, really? No way. All right, let's check it out. Let's see if we can get it to work now. I'm excited for this, man. Oh, my gosh. It works. Look at that. <laughs> yes, it's so bright outside. I couldn't see any LED lights on the switch. I thought it wasn't working, but... As I can see, it is. So let me now pull the key and see if she sets off. All right. And she's off. We got it. All right, so I think we're good to go. Now I just got to close this in a way of which the cords don't get caught up. So much. All right, and here is one more look at the lights look at that that's awesome daytime running lights i mean you probably can't even see anything it's so bright out but they're working trust me i'll i'll get a clip of you guys for you guys of the lights whenever it turns dark one of these days whenever the key is just turned to accessory mode the lights aren't on it has to be turned all the way or the engine running so that's perfect so i guess we're good to go on the lights it's awesome so now i got some tape here So we're about to take out the ram because well might as well right it's been a while so i'm gonna cold starter but what we're gonna do is silverado build right here so i'm gonna show you guys that in here in a second but let me let me get inside the truck actually i'm not gonna start it now but i will in a sec uh eh, whatever let's do it three two got it so here is the vehicle. It is a 2020 
2017 2500 HD, but I'll just build the 18 the exact same way because I'm, I'm I'm sure and I'm positive that you cannot build 17s anymore. But as you can see, I got it in white, and it's just the basic interior. I think this is the work truck. Yes, it's a four-wheel drive crew cab standard box work truck. Can't get the extended cab anymore, and it is white with the simple interior on the inside. I didn't, I didn't get much, I'm telling you that. I did not get much on the truck. I got black door handles, and it's just the regular... I would go for black bumpers, but it's not even possible. I got the cab lights on the top. I did not opt for the tow mirrors because you need to buy some expensive package that would just be so much cheaper for me to just go online and get the, get the tow mirrors myself and install them myself, so I'm just going to do that. I just have the split front bench seat, which I love. That's what I want. I upgraded the entertainment system in the inside, engine block heater was free, engine exhaust brake is free, and the turbo diesel is a $9,000 upgrade, but that's that's pretty normal. It's got the Allison 1000 six-speed automatic transmission, that's standard, I gotta love that, and it comes with the 17-inch regular rims. Of course, it's got all the OnStar stuff that I don't even want. It's gonna have the standard Z85 sus suspension package. Well, that's pretty cool, I guess, but I don't really need that. and. Yeah, so I don't I don't know if it actually does it. It says I selected the accessories of mirrors actually, because I think you can do some extra stuff, but it didn't upgrade that in the picture. Sorry, it's been a while since I actually actually made this build online. It's been a few days, but we're gonna go and check that out here in a little bit. But as of right now, I just wanted to go over everything that I got, and it's got the satellite radio in it. But yeah, it's it's basically just the basic truck. There's not much to it just a white work truck and a little bit of upgrades to it and then most of the stuff I'm going to be doing on my own you know suspension wheels and tires and the bumpers can be switching those out probably eventually and then you know some performance mods so I know the L5P cannot be tuned I already know that but you know things could change in the future obviously I think they're not going to but I'm also going to have them search for an LML and because that's basically if I bought a Duramax it would be an LML oh yes talk about a beautiful day to just go for a nice sunny sunny day drive so we're gonna go to the Chevy dealer now and actually the same place that I bought my Chevrolet Silverado almost four years ago. It's been about three and a half years almost and it's, it's kind of hard to believe. So there's a John Deere. I don't know if that's an old one or a new one, but I wonder if he can actually, you know, fix the issues himself. Maybe it's old enough, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna go to Lawrence Chevrolet and we got about a 20 minute drive, but a nice sunny day. That drive is gonna go like I'd say it's probably the first day that I'm actually able to drive and have the window down. Man, this is awesome. Oh, for granted, I should have took the highway because uh, I'm, I always want to bike these roads, you know? The back road is always bikeable. Quite funny actually, I thought I was going to be able to get all three of these trucks uh, well squared away and the pricing and everything in just one day, but I realized, you know, it's probably going to take at least four hours. When I'm in there, I'm in there for at least a good solid hour and a half, so because I just want to talk about it, I have a lot of questions about each one. There's just little things about each one that takes a while, and then they have to process all this stuff, so it takes a little bit. Something happened, guys, and this is no joke. Guys.